Hello everybody, my name's Guernsey Dave and welcome back to To The Moon. Uh, so, done the intro, hopefully now the game is going to get started. Uh, we're in Act 1, so let's carry on. Um, basically, if you didn't watch the intro because you weren't interested, all we've done is crashed our car, avoiding a squirrel. Basically, we're going to lie to our boss and we've carried a heavy crate all the way to this mansion uh, where Johnny, I believe, has died. Um... So right, let's go see what's going on. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. You go. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Okay. Um, speak to her, I suppose. Lily, ready to set up? Well, let's have a little look around first. Um, thanks for asking, though. Uh, I don't know what quite we're looking for. Selection of reading for medical journals. I'm not reading medical journals. Oh, um, that's... Ooh. Oh, it just turns on. Oh, okay, shiny things. Okay. Oh, that's quite useful to remember. Shiny things mean clicky things. Wow, who has stairs in their uh, sort of bathroom? Oh, you're a very wealthy man. Okay, let's get the show on the road. You ready to set up? Set up machine. Yes, I'll just be a moment. Ooh, dramatic music. Whoa. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. Gosh, here we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> Standard procedure. Just keeping you on your toes. What a dick. How's he going? Doing even? Not so sure. Uh, not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's a... That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? Oh yeah, sorry if I didn't explain the last one because I think I forgot. The bit about this story I do know is you are two people granting this guy his last wish and you're going back through his memories in time to, to grant him that wish. To try at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome! Can't resist. So, what's the wish? The moon. Makes sense now. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on... Uh, yeah, the geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? Oh no, it's him. So can you do it? We can do it. It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about... Our client here. That... I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy, for Pete's sake. Shush! Just do your thing! Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more information. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm. So be it. Alright, let's go have a little wander around this guy's house. Alright. Which one of us plays detective? I'm gonna go... With what? 
Or do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. Dr. Watson? Doctor. That was my thinking, anyway. I remember you playing Watson. <laughs> Meh. Same thing. Uh, just configure this. I get it. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Okay. Um, let's have a little look at these medical books again. Let's see what it says. Selection of reading and medical journals. Okay, not much there really. Um, do you reckon we need to go downstairs? Oh no, look, we can. Oh, a painting of a lighthouse. Come on, look at this one. Look, look at this one. That's oh, going to get annoying. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sorts. Hmm. Casual painting of three people. I don't know why I'm still doing the voice, actually. I think it becomes a bit of habit. You kind of get used to. Used to doing the voices. Wait. Come here for a moment. Okay. I have something for you. Hmm. Kidoki. Here, take this. Receive remote patient monitor. Oh. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct... Oh. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Ooh. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. Okay. Ah, okay, that's it at the top. Oh, look at that. Okay. I'm assuming... Um, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Is it? Is it like a health... Health bar um, type thing. Let's have a quick look at this clock. Oh, God. Oh. oh, is that the time or can you? No, you can't change it. Okay. Let's go find these kids. I like the way the music gets that little bit louder actually as you uh, as you walk closer to the piano. I might have had to turn it down just uh, just a little bit for you guys. I don't know how loud it's going to come out when I play it back. Oh. Candy cane! Oh, light. Okay. Nope, not a lot in here. Alright, let's go speak to the kittywinks. Hey, boy! Hey, girl. Uh, what do you want? Uh, show around the house? Hey, your ma told me to show you. Uh, my ma told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. That was easy. Maybe. I think we just need a little more convincing, that's all. Oh, God, I hate kids. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. All right, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want... One trillion dollars. It's probably been done so many times that hasn't it? I apologise but I couldn't resist. All the candy cane mum hides for us. Oh yeah, all that. I know what that is. Uh, what? There is a giant candy cane on top of the high shelf that we can't reach. That's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save us. Okay. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour of the house. What do you say? Well, sure, whatever kids. Oh, sorry. I didn't see just clicking. The kitchen's door's right next to the stairs. Now go. It's almost like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. Right. Go on then. Let's have a look. There's that candy cane. Ah, okay. Uh, can we move this? Whoa! Okay, that's kind of cool. I thought I was going to have to push it. But it's only a point and click. Received candy cane. Alright, let's go sort out these pesky kids. Get off. Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. <laughs> okay. Interesting term. Alright, kiddos. I was again... Yeah. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. 
It's probably a, a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. All right, where do we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. Okay, I'm gonna get caught there, aren't I? I don't like that funny room. Uh, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. Oh, man. The old man hid it inside a book in his study. Okay. Uh... Study? What, do you want to tell me where the study is? Huh. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Okie dokie. Let's turn some lights on. Not a big fan of the dark. Oh, they all come on. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, over here? The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1. The key to avoiding paper cuts. Read passage. The Pilgrim's Guide to the Origami has always... There's a lot of big words in that. I am not... No. I'm not one for big words. And super... 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 Yep. Yeah. If you guys really want me to read all these, I will. But... Um, God, do I have to... Read more? Maybe it's this one. Maybe I should have read more. Read passage. Yes. Okay, so it's not there. Tommy used to throw books at me and call me call it a book fight. Till one day I threw one back and needed a band-aid. Hee hee. Right, okay. Uh, just a bunch of books in here. Uh, there's nothing I don't know. Mm. Okay, am I missing something? Have I got to read that, really? Oh. Ah, okay, there's more books. Ah, yay! Found it! Okay, there's a key hiding. Excellent. Okay, so I've got the key. Now I assume we got... Oh. Yes, we can open the funny room in the basement now. Yippee! Okay. Uh, this is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the lights before you trip over something. Okie dokie! Um, right, what's in here? Chest is locked. No fun. A dusty pile of animorphs books sit here. A lot of big words. I'm not a fan of big... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Else to clear. I'm just going to have a quick look down here first, just uh, just in case. I've got a bad feeling those kids are going to... Oh, uh, shut me in there for some reason. Uh, the cabinet is filled with dusty books. Boxes filled with coloured papers. Chest is locked. Okay. Right, looks like we're going into the room, everybody. Oh, no. Bookshelf. No, okay, it's the same thing. Here we go like a cave in here. There's a light. Look, you can see a little sparkle. Okay. There's that funny animal. Stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. I actually quite... Poke it. Oh. Take it. It's received a platypus. I actually quite like the platypus. Broken music box. Uh, rabbits folded out of paper. There's a lot of them. So anything else we can do down here? Not really. A little bit freaky. I'm just gonna back on out. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. Oh, it's not his voice. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. 
It's just beneath his this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys! Let me guess, you aren't supposed to go in there either. Hee <laughs> hee! Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you two. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Let's go. Let's go have a little adventure. Come on, let's go kick some butts. Okay, so I assume we're going to the lighthouse. I am going to leave this one here. So this is part one. Um, the story's starting to build. So from what I've gathered now, the woman is his maid. These are her kids. They play the piano and they're cheeky little sods. Lovely. I'm assuming we're going outside. Anyway, I thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this because it will encourage me to make more. And if you've got any suggestions, please pop a comment down below. Also, let me know if you're enjoying this series because I'm only going to do three parts for this for now. And if you want to see more, then I will carry it on. Also, if you want them to be longer, I can make them longer. I just prefer to keep them down to 15 minutes. Also, if you've got anyone else that you think would enjoy this video, please share it with them. Um, let them join in the fun because they've probably got more ideas that we can use on the channel and it will help it grow. So anyway, I thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ta-ra. a lot worse than it was.